Hi guys, in today's video I've got a much awaited thing um, to show you. It is the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. I've pre-ordered mine um, and it arrived the other day so I thought I would show you. <laughs> um, I absolutely adored this last year. Last year was the first year I ever bought an advent calendar that was more than like a quid <laughs> um, and it was so good that I had to buy another one this year and now I'm kind of obsessing about buying loads of advent calendars even though I've already got one. <laughs> Hi guys, before we get started, I would just want to say if you're enjoying this video in any way, then I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and if you are already a subscriber, then welcome back. But anyway, I will take you through it, so it's hard to sort of see because it's a silvery shiny box, <laughs> so all you can see is reflection really. Um, but last year it, was, it opened both sides, this year it opens just on one side, it's got a bow on the top. It's always good, well I say always, the two times I've bought it, it's been good quality. Um, like packaging and stuff, I know it's cardboard so it's probably a bit of a waste but last year I um, like sort of donated it on like a local free cycle thing and someone I assume is going to reuse it for putting stuff in for their family so that makes me feel better. <laughs> um, so inside on one side you have all of the drawers, it's now silver and navy blue, I love the navy blue actually, it's very plush. Um, and then it's got a drawer on either side, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for me to show you this, <laughs> a drawer that comes out the side on both sides. So I might have to actually take these drawers out, otherwise it's going to be well awkward to find everything. Um, which probably is easier because last year it was a total nightmare because I had to keep turning it around to try and find all the different things. Which isn't the end of the world but it is quite useful, though I guess I'm going to have the same problem with the drawers. Like because I keep it on my windowsill next to my bed so I can open it in the morning when I wake up. Um, uh, so like having the drawers is going to be kind of just as annoying but I guess it's easier to slide the drawers out maybe than turn the whole thing around. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Right. So we have a whole bunch of, oh it smells nice, <laughs> I just love these things. Anyway I'll tell you how much it was, It's it was £100 this year which is quite a lot more expensive, well about £10 more expensive, I think I got it for £80 or £83 last year and I got it for £90 this year because I'm a a look fantastic subscriber, oh my god it smells so nice, I'm a look fantastic subscriber of the beauty box. So you get £10 off, so it's £100 or £90 if you've got the Beauty Box subscription. Um, and it's worth £565 apparently. It's got 13 full-size surprises across the countdown and then I'm guessing the rest are minis. Um, so yes, I'm going to try and place the two drawers so I can access them. And also you can see them, I'm not sure how easy that's going to be. I might have to just hold one <laughs> or maybe put it over here and then just bring it over when needed. Um, so we will start with box number one. They've like written a whole load of blurb this year about each of the things which actually was kind of annoying. <laughs> like it started off being really useful but then it, it was just sort of like in box number three you can discover this which is you know not really helpful when I'm trying to summarise it for you guys. <laughs> anyway so in box number one we have got Medicaid Press and Glow Tonic 200 millilitres full size. This is worth £28. It is, it says top rated toner approved by dermatologists plus it's refillable. I like the fact that it's refillable but I don't really see how it's refillable because it looks like a plastic container to me. I like the fact that it comes out the top though. It says press and glow daily exfoliating PHA tonic with enzyme activator. I don't, I'm a bit confused about exfoliating things if I'm honest. I can't work out whether I like to do it in a wash or in a toner. I'm sort of trying one of the Paula's Choice ones at the moment but I do actually I've got a Medicaid wash which I got in the last year's one um that I really liked that is like an exfoliating sort of daily face wash and I I really liked that and was using that for a long time but then I think I was using it too much because I then started to sort of have like eczema and issues with my face so I'm kind of scaled it back so I'm only using it once a week now um but yeah anyway I do like Medicaid as a brand and this is a big old chunker and I like the fact that it squeezes out the top like you push down on it. I like that. <laughs> anyway, easily please. So £28 already. Um, draw number two. Oh, there's also a voucher of some description here. It says look fantastic and Foreo. I don't know what that's all about because I tried to look it up to, and I assume that you have to use it against Foreo, which I'm guessing is these electric devices um which ironically i was actually kind of looking at getting like a face brush face wash brush thing <laughs> um but 
yeah anyway i was confused i fiddled about on the website for ages trying to work out what you actually get 30 pounds off of um but i'm guessing you have to jump through a whole load of hoops and spend over a certain amount of money or whatever um but yeah so it might be useful if you are in the market for that box number two i'm guessing must be over here oh it's a little one and this is this works perfect perfect body smoothing wash body exfoliator formulator with a blend of fruit derived acids and phas so so far we're doing a lot of exfoliating um i prefer these in a body format actually i don't worry so much about what i'm sort of exfoliating my body with um but yeah and i do like this works actually as far as they go let's see if it smells this is apparently worth six pounds I'm not sure I'm going to be able to open it without breaking my nails or my teeth. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that just came out then. It's like a gel, which is unexpected. I was expecting that to be, I don't know why I was expecting that to be anything other than a gel, to be fair, because it normally would be if it was a body wash. Anyway, so that's this works. Perfect body. Oh, it does smell quite nice, actually. Sort of um, aromatherapy oil type smells. Um, yes, what is next? We've got box number three. I nearly read out what was in box number three before opening box number three. Box number three annoyingly is over here as well. Right, so I was going to say that these drawers are easier than last year. Last year you had to do sort of like a whole combination of like pushing up to get them out. And I think they are probably better than that, but still kind of annoying. In box number three, we have Wella Professionals Care Ultimate Blend, no, just Ultimate Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. 100 millilitres and 700, 75 millilitres even. Um, so they're sort of like small mini ones, but they're slightly more than you normally get in these kind of things, basically. Um, so, I mean, that would maybe do me like twice <laughs> with the conditioner and the shampoo will last quite a long time. Um, it apparently has got the metal purifiers in this to detoxify and prevent breakage. I'm kind of interested in the idea of trying something that purifies the metals out of my hair I'm not sure why but I feel like it's something that I should be doing um so yeah these are worth 26 pounds apparently um so that is what they oh, wrong side that is what they look like and um I think I might have tried these before actually Weller is trusty isn't it whatever so that is box number three what have we got in box number four where is box number four it's over here this ooh is the Ordinary pet Multi-Peptide Eye Serum, 15 millilitres, full size, worth 19.90. I actually have been wanting to try this and I knew that it was gonna be in here, so I've been waiting to buy it because I want to try it first, basically. But the, it's a decent sized bottle. What did I say it was? 15 millilitres, but that, I think when you're using just an eye um serum is going to last quite a long time and it's definitely hopefully going to be long enough for me to work out if i like it i watched a, a youtuber that said that they use it as part of their like daily thing and it's like fixed all of their under eye or around eye dryness and i get a lot of that probably because i do a lot of exfoliating around my eyes which i know i shouldn't do um so i've been kind of wanting to tr try that so that's exciting plus the ordinary again is trusty isn't it you can't go wrong with the ordinary um, what have we got next? Draw number five. Where is draw number five? Uh -huh. It's a skinny one. This is Glow Hub Gen Gleam Lip Gloss in shade Thirsty. Three millilitres, full size, worth £10. I think I'm going to sneeze. Um, I think I had a blush from these people in one of the Look Fantastic boxes. I'm going to be able to get into this now, oh, oh, and it looks like it might open. It is a lip gloss of sorts in shade Thirsty, which looks like this. That looks like a pretty good shade, actually. Oh, it smells like watermelon. <laughs> that was unexpected. Watermelon scented gloss enriched with yojoba seed oil and vitamin E to hydrate and condition plus powerful peptides to promote a plump, promote promote a plumping effect easy for you to say so I quite like that color that's quite a nice pink not sure about the watermelon scent like it's a nice smell but I feel like that'll get on my nerves 
um, but it is a nice colour and a plumping effect is always good. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. What have we got next? Draw number six. Um, did I say how much that was? That was worth £10. Draw number six is over here. Bring it over to get it up. This is Sol de Janeiro, I don't know how you pronounce this, Cherosa 59 Perfume Mist. This is 90 millilitres full size, worth £22. So that's pretty good. I don't personally love the smell of these things. I, I hadn't smelt this one before this came, um, but it's a bit, they're all a bit sweet for me. It's like, <laughs> it's a nice smell. And my stepdaughter, I know, will love this because she's well into these smells. But for me, it's a bit much. I, and also, I don't, in fairness, get on with a lot of perfumes. Like, mostly, if I get any sample perfumes or whatever, I tend to give them away because I, the only perfume that has ever suited me is Ghost from the 90s. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like it's exciting that you get a full side one. And quite a lot of the stuff in here I want to give away anyway. Like, I just like the excitement of opening it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, that is the Sol Genera. And now the whole house is going to smell like this. They're just quite overpowering scents which if you're a 12 year old is really what you want but if you're a 45 year old not so much but I mean like I want it to be I don't know I'm gonna stop wittering <laughs> it's just a bit too sweet for me um so that is worth 22 pounds if you want to know it's scents of vanilla orchid velvet plum and sugared violet whatever that is draw number seven is there's draw number seven there it's a little dinky one this oh, is First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, 30 millilitres, travel size, worth £7. This actually, I like this brand. I have had a few of these in the Look Fantastic Beauty box. And one of the ones I really like is not this one. It's actually that like, they've got like a KP scrub, which is really nice. I can't even remember what I just said this was. First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Doesn't say anything. It does say it's for sensitive skin, so that's probably a good one. It just says pure skin face cleanser. Um, but you, like I say, I have tried a lot of these um, things and they're all pretty good. Um, so I will be keen to try that and I will be happy to try that because it does say it's for sensitive skin and I have used, even like their scrub is quite nice on sensitive skin. So yeah, I am pleased with that. Worth seven pounds. This is a foaming, oh, foaming cleanser that helps remove dirt, oil, and makeup. The pH balanced formula blends a range of powerful antioxidants to leave you with healthy, healthy looking, radiant skin. Apparently, box eight. Where is box eight? Hang on, I've just got to scroll down. Box eight. Oh, this is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is another one I've been wanting to try. I don't know why, but I'm being marketed Estee Lauder, I guess, because I've reached an age where I might buy Estee Lauder. And I kind of want to be that person that buys Estee Lauder. I've got like one of the um, the pressed pow the powder foundation, which I really like. But just all of their products make me feel classy. <laughs> so I'm quite keen to try them and I kind of want to like them basically. I've heard really good things about this. This is the Advanced Night Repair Serum. It's only a teeny tiny little um, thing, but I think that again is enough. It probably isn't enough to tell if it's doing anything particularly to your skin, but it's enough to know if you like the feel of it, which for me is 90% of what I'm looking for in skincare. Like I know I need it to feel luxurious, otherwise I just won't use it basically. Um, so yeah, I'm keen to try that. That apparently is worth £35 for that tiny little thing, which makes me think the full-size one is going to be well pricey. But, um, you know, I don't even mind spending the money within reason as long as it, you know, it feels nice, basically. Um, and I'm guessing it must do something good, otherwise it wouldn't be raved about so much and also wouldn't be worth that much money, in theory. Um, it says rejuvenating night serum uh, inside drawer eight the results speak for itself smooth firm and even skin that glows box number nine we have another dinky one this is the nuco super thick tropical scalp serum supplement 
Okay, again, we got one of these in the Look Fantastic box the other day. I think it was an eye cream. I can't even remember what it was. It was that memorable. Um, I'm wanting to say this is a new company because they're like, I don't know, just seem to have popped up and I've never heard of them. Um, the Savia Serum encourages healthy hair growth with a blend of pre and probiotics. So it's a scalp serum. I had a scalp scrub the other day in one of the boxes and I don't really understand. I guess a serum is a bit easier because you can kind of rub it in like as a pre-wash type thing or like at night or whatever. But I didn't understand the scalp scrub. Like how can you scrub your scalp? Because your hair is in the way. So I gave it to my partner because he's got short hair so it's easier for him to actually get to the scalp. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean that is worth £7. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think if you've got fine hair, then something like that would be great. I don't, I mean, I do have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it's not something, not a concern of mine, but I will give it a go anyway, because I do like to slather my hair in oil at night and then wash it out in the morning. Um, drawer number 10 is handily next to drawer number nine. Avant Skincare Pro Perfecting Collagen Two, two Chaclet Primer, 30 millilitres. Full size, apparently, <laughs> worth £84. These were the people, I've still got it. Uh, last year, if you watched my last year's one, I nearly had a heart attack when I read the eye cream. This is the eye cream that came in last year's and it was worth like £99 or something. It was like, are you kidding? With this tiny little thing. But that being said, I've been eking it out for like a year, which probably you're not supposed to do. But it's really nice, actually, like probably not 100 quid's worth of nice, but like it's just a nice gel like it's a nice consistency because it's a gel basically so it is quite cooling and smooth to go on <laughs> but anyway this is the Touche Clay primer apparently um I can't imagine that it's going to be anything <laughs> worth the amount of money that it says it is I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to I should have taken all these little blibs off before I did this video let's see if the texture does anything fantastic it's sort of white it feels actually surprisingly similar to the eye cream so it's a nice gel which i think for a primer is quite nice because it sort of doesn't feel like another thick layer to go on your face but also does mean it sort of takes a little bit longer to dry down in my opinion um so that says collagen infused primer hydrate balance and enhance the look of the skin to create the perfect canvas for your makeup 84 pounds and apparently full size <laughs> i don't know if i actually showed you that um, so yes, that is, I will use that to be fair, I do actually quite like the idea of that because of, because of the gel consistency and because I did like the eye cream, <laughs> despite my heart attack at the price of it. Drawer number 11, it's a big drawer, oh it's a candle, <laughs> Rituals of Secura scented candle, 140 grams travel size, I don't know how you get a travel size candle, <laughs> this is worth, oh it smells like jelly beans. It's worth seventeen pounds. I like it. I like it when they make the actual candle classy. You know, sometimes they put stuff on it, and you think, "Why have you made the outside look tacky?" <laughs> like I need to present this like it needs to be on display. Anyway, um, I'm a little bit disappointed. It doesn't smell like Christmassy. Like normally, you get a Christmassy candle in, and that makes the whole box smell Christmassy. But for some reason, this smells like jelly beans. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to smell like jelly beans. What is it supposed to smell like? Renewing fragrance of cherry blossom rice milk and rice milk. <laughs> so I guess the cherry blossom is the jelly bean. It's, I mean, it's a nice smell, don't get me wrong, but I would have preferred personally a Christmas smell. But also candles are good for regifting. <laughs> so there we go. That's box number 11. Did I say that was worth £17 apparently? And also travel size. Uh, where are we at? Box number 12. One of my trusty products well i say that is that the aveeno daily moisturizing lotion i use the aveeno daily just aveeno <laughs> moisturizing cream all the time daily <laughs> but i've never actually used the body lotion i think i might have already tried a bit of this um and it feels just like the cream the, the face cream so i'm intrigued actually to see well, i'm almost tempted to <laughs> use it on my face i don't know what the why it would be body lotion but anyway <laughs> I will try this on my body lotion on my body um and I don't even know why I haven't tried it on my body actually because I get like eczema on the side of my neck I haven't got one at the moment um and you know like under my boobs and stuff it gets sore so it's like quite nice to have a 
a nourishing moisturizer so i'm not sure why i haven't already tried this so i'm glad that they've given me this so i can try it it's only worth four pounds it's 100 milliliters full size i'm surprised that's not worth more actually i'm sure i pay more than four pounds for my face one but anyway um box number 13 oh i've nearly released box number 23 where is box number 13 it must be over here we haven't done one over here for a while uh, box number 13 is a MAC Cosmetics Lip Luster Lip Shine Lipstick in shade Hug Me. Three grams, full size, worth £24. This is a little bit wasted on me because I don't really wear lipstick and I just put lip gloss on. <laughs> Let me just try and take some of that off. Just giving myself sticky hands now. Um, I have already checked this out though and it is a quite a good nude colour. So we shall see. Now that it's started to get dark outside, though, it looks quite dark. So I don't know. I don't know, it's okay. It's quite thick. I don't think it actually is. It's just I don't normally wear lipstick in fairness. Um, but if they were going to give me a lipstick, I'm glad they gave me a nude one because I'm more likely to wear that than I am anything else, basically. It's either like bright red or it's nude, basically, generally. Um, so yeah, that is, did I say how much that was worth? I've lost it. That's worth £24. And that is drawer number 13. Drawer number 14, also on this one, is Colour Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. 50 millilitres, travel size, worth £12. I actually wasn't that impressed with Colour Wow stuff when I got, a sh got the shampoo and conditioner. But I have heard great things about this spray. In fact, I think I might already have one. Um, but and I like all of these ones. There's a couple. There's a Philip Kingsley one I've got here actually, <laughs> um, and a that's called Maximizer and like a Nikki Clark Raise the Roots one. And they're all fairly similar, I think, in that they basically feel like they're kind of just hairspray. Oh, it smells nice. I'm, not, I'm sure you're supposed to do it differently to this because you're probably supposed to put it on your roots. And actually, my mother-in-law is always looking at things to like th thicken her hair. So I might give her this because I think it would be, would be good for that like sort of fine hair that needs zhuzhing a bit. Um, yes, so that is worth £12. I can't remember if I said that. It says add instant volume to fine flat hair with its root lifter that can be used on wet or dry stands. The formula utilises three lightweight elastomizers to allow for flexible styling in all day body and hold that doesn't sound like anything other than hairspray to me but anyway <laughs> um so next we have drawer 15 which is somewhere can anyone see drawer 15 ah it's here this is peter thomas roth rose stem cell anti-aging mask and cucumber gel mask duo i already have one one of the rose stem cell ones of these these are travel size 14 millilitres worth 20 pounds i'm guessing the two together i got this one in a look fantastic beauty box and i like it but i just never seem to find the time to do it because you have to put it on for 10 minutes and then wash it it's basically the same as all face masks so i just never get time to do them because i can't be bothered to put it on in the evening and then wash my face after i've already washed my face in the evening i don't want to wash it twice basically and in the morning i'm just getting up and getting in the shower i can't i don't really want to have a 10 minute window where i just i'm waiting for something on my face i don't know if this is just me comment below if this is you as well because it just doesn't seem like there's ever a slot in my sort of schedule where i can put something on my face for 10 minutes and then wash it off again afterwards i realize as i'm saying this how ridiculous that sounds i could just wash my face in the evening put it on and then wash my face again but i just don't want to basically um but they are really nice i haven't tried the cucumber one but i can imagine that's even nicer actually than the rose one um but i do like the rose one but it's a nice smell obviously rose is a nice smell and it is a nice gel consistency so it does feel nice on the skin um so yeah i, I will use those they're worth 20 pounds it says to nourish hydrate and depuff the look of skin um number 16 oh i am excited about this one <laughs> i don't even know why i'm excited but i am where is number 16 it's there this is the look fantastic and trigwell cosmetics velvet power puffs 
in iconic blue. These are worth $14.99. It's, I've got four of these already. I bought two and then I got two in one of the Look Fantastic boxes. Um, so I ended up with four, but I use it every day to do the powder under my eyes. But I quite like these because they're a navy blue. It's a pretty colour that they have not done before, to my knowledge. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about these. These are so nice. If you put powder under your eyes, I can really recommend using these. They are like just the perfect size and they're so soft and lovely and they wash really well. I didn't think they would work. I thought that putting powder under your eyes with a puff at my age would not be a good idea but actually it does somehow seem to make it better um so yeah i can definitely recommend trying these if you haven't already that is the trig well cosmetics powder puffs so that is in box 16 so in box 17 we've got some ultra sun face anti-aging lotion what did i say box 17 this is spf 30 in travel size 25 milliliters I actually use Ultrasun quite a lot, but mostly just because my mum used to and doesn't anymore shop a lot on the shopping channel and they used to have Ultrasun a lot on there. Um, so she would have loads of it, basically. So um, I ended up using a lot of that. Um, but I do like it. There's ones I do and ones I don't like. So I'm sort of in the process of trying to find which is which, but the face ones are normally pretty good. Um, so And these, these little pots are always handy to have in your handbag because my partner had skin cancer on his ear. So we are always super conscious of making sure that he has got um, SPF on his hair. I mean, which we should be for all of us anyway, but especially because he had that removed. Um, so yes, a number box number 18. Oh God, <laughs> I remember I, when I've already opened this just to see out of curiosity what everything was. Um, but getting this out of the box was epic. This is the Kate London Glow to Illuminate Blush in shade Sweet Kiss, full size worth 20 pounds i'm no doubt not going to be able to get into this and it's going to drive me crazy <laughs> like i can tear the box now because you're watching before i didn't want to tear the box because i would have to open it in front of you and it would look like i'd already opened it but then i couldn't get it out <laughs> like even oh it's actually happening this time yay <laughs> so this is what it looks like i'm not sure it's something that i will use because it's very glowy the color actually looks really pretty but it is quite glowy I don't know if you can see that. It's like a peachy. Um, actually, you can probably see it better in the pan. It's like a peachy sort of glowy, peachy pink, which is nice. But then look at that glow. <laughs> I'm tempted to try some just for your entertainment. <laughs> Let me see what it looks like on. You might have to bear with me looking ridiculous for the rest of the video. I'm so cautious because I don't wanna oh it's not too bad. I was expecting it to go on like really badly. I can't even really see <laughs> to be fair. But I'm got I don't want to put too much on in case I then look ridiculous. Oh no, you can see. Actually, I don't hate that. <laughs> we'll see when the light shines on me if I look ridiculous but I do, I do actually quite like that I wish it wasn't luminous I wish it was um matte but there we go so that is the Kate London glow to illuminate blush and shade sweet kiss kiss full size and 20 pounds and that is in box 18 then we have box 19 if I can find box 19 oh it's a big one in here we have Elemis Pro Collagen, oh it is a big one, we've got Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream in 30 millilitres, this says travel size but that feels full size to me, which is worth £63, Jesus, the, <laughs> the travel size is worth £63, how expensive is the main one? I actually am not sure about Elemis, I know, I feel like I should like them because they have lots of stuff that sounds nice. But you get a lot of it in the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. And I, some of it I like, but some of it I'm not sure it doesn't irritate my skin. Like I have got the Elemis, this same one, the Marine Collagen Face Wash. And I don't know if I'm paranoid, but I feel like my skin is often irritated after I have used it. So I've given it to my partner. It's only a little one anyway. Um, so I'll see how the cream goes. I will use it because I like 
the jar mostly <laughs> um but yeah like as long as it's not oh, too heavily fragranced then i should be all right which is not actually i was offering you to sniff it <laughs> this is what it looks like um it actually doesn't smell like anything which it, it, it makes me happy because hopefully that means it won't irritate me and i mean it should be good for you i'm sure it said it was award-winning yeah this award-winning day cream is powered by marine and plant actives to improve firmness and deliver long-lasting hydration so i am keen to try that i mean i love all skincare and makeup so i'm keen to try all of it to be fair um but i'm glad that that doesn't smell because i thought it was going to be stinky so box 20 we're nearly there bear with me if you've made it this far thank you um where's box 20 it must be over here no it's not oh there it is box 20 we have got Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant, 12 milliliters, travel size, worth 16 pounds. Daily physical exfoliant draw inside my blah, 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 draw, <laughs> formulated with brightening vitamin C and moisturizing vitamin E. I'm assuming when they say physical um, exfoliate, they mean it's got bits in it. And I don't hate that, if I'm honest. I do quite like it, as long as they are really fine. Shall I see if I can get in it? Oh, God. Pierce it. <laughs> right, I'm running out of space to do stuff on. Yeah, it's got really fine grit in it, basically. Which I, I don't hate. Like I say, I quite like it when it's a really fine grit because it doesn't feel like it's... Which is odd because my face is so sensitive and I, can't, I find it hard to use the chemical exfoliants, but for some reason the physical ones. I think it's because back in the day there was no chemical ones we all used physical ones and they were really harsh the physical ones you used when i was growing up um so this these feel positively pleasant in comparison um so anyway yeah i've, I've not heard of this brand but i do like the feel of that already so that is box 20. box 21 is iconic london oh my god i've got to find it Iconic London Prep and Glow Spray in original, original full size, worth £25. This looks really exciting. It says if you're a lover of a dewy complexion, which I'm not really, um, this is your glow to for your everyday makeup looks. And when you open it, this is what the box looks like. When you open it, it looks weird. <laughs> well, I have heard good things about this. Look, it's like one of these like shake to activate type things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm assuming this is what is going to be all over your face, which I, I may as well try it now in for a penny, in for a pound. Um, but yeah, like, oh, it's quite a heavy spray. It smells all right though. Often with these, I don't like the smell, but okay, it doesn't smell particularly overpowering of anything. But I'm assuming this is going to do something super glowy to my face now. Or it might just give it a nice, pleasant... <laughs> moisturized look rather than shiny we shall see i have heard good things about this though and it's full size so that's pretty good so even if i don't use it that will be a good gift <laughs> so that is the iconic prep and glow spray which is worth 25 pounds what i love about the fact that i've got this this early this year is that i can open it all again in december and i would be genuinely be surprised <laughs> which is exciting draw 22 we have got where is draw 22? There it is, it's dinky. Draw 22. No, that can't be right. That's confusing. <laughs> it says draw 22 has got look fantastic brushwork satin eye mask in it, but this definitely isn't an eye mask. I'm almost positive this is them that has got the order wrong. But anyway, draw 22, we have actually got a spa tri active regenerating treatment oil, 10 milliliters, travel size worth 25 pounds. This is actually well cute. <laughs> um, it's got a little dinker on the top as well, you know, like when you <laughs> when you push the button to get stuff out. I'm so easily pleased by packaging. This little oh dinker just sucks up just a little amount. Should I try it? So, <laughs> this is um I'm assuming for face. Deeply nourishing and smoothing face oil that tackles the appearance of fine lines to unlock a youthful glow. So it's a face oil. It smells like aromatherapy oils basically. Again, I'm not never really sure 
whether I should use these. It smells nice. Actually, it smells quite geranium-y. Um, yeah, like I'm never really sure if I should use these because I'm pretty sure that the, the oils maybe irritate my skin. I don't know if I've got that in my head or if that actually is a thing because it doesn't ever break out or anything. But for some reason, I worry <laughs> about putting it on my skin. But that is a really cute pot and I am keen to try that because it smells nice basically <laughs> and I do like the spa stuff as well like all of the things that I have had in the past I've enjoyed um so that is drawer 22 despite what they say on their website and drawer 23 I've lost that as well there it is oh, this feels more like it might be what they said drawer 22 was yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm really confused now. So this is actually the Look Fantastics Brushworks Satin Eye Mask in Iconic Blue. Um, it looks black on camera, but it is actually navy blue, I think. Yeah, it is navy blue. I don't actually use an eye mask, if I'm honest, but I like the idea of using an eye mask. Like when they all wake up on Love Island and stuff, I think it looks <laughs> nice to have slept under an eye mask. But in reality, it would creep me out not being able to see. Like, I get a bit freaked out if I can't see what's happening at night. <laughs> so, um, but that will be useful for on planes and stuff like that or um, as a gift, basically. So, I am keen for that. So, that is worth $7.99. It does feel nice and soft, actually. Right, so now where are we at? I'm more confused. We're at drawer number 24. Almost at the end. Where is drawer number 24? Over here. This is a Shiseido Uplifting and Firming ooh, Express Eye Mask. I love an eye mask. Um, I'm assuming this is just one set. It says full size worth £11. Shiseido, I've got a few of their brushes, are pretty good at everything. <laughs> so I'm hoping these will be good. Um, it's an energising eye mask. Doesn't say anything worth mentioning um so yeah i'm keen for these i love them and i like it's hard it doesn't you can't tell what it's made of but i like them when they're sort of actually like material almost so i'm always on the quest if you know any comment below that are like good that are like material and you can just put on while you're getting ready and don't leave like a load of sort of slop behind basically <laughs> um so yeah that is door number 24 so that'll be quite nice actually on christmas eve to have a nice little pamper session and Put an eye mask on ready to look beautiful on christmas day and christmas day if i can close the drawer is number 25 this big old chunker here is an eyeshadow palette this is the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette it's in four, got 14 shades full size worth 48 pounds that's exciting did i say those that eye mask was worth 11. The only thing I like actually last year I, there was an eyeshadow palette in number 25 and it was the iconic one which I've still got here actually um and I was a bit like well it's wasted on me because I don't wear eyeshadow and at the time I didn't know <laughs> but actually it has sort of taken me on an eye makeup an eyeshadow journey so I'm quite excited about that because I always thought because I've got such hooded lids that I couldn't really wear any eyeshadow and I have been actually trying quite a lot and, but I don't use loads of this these colour because they're quite warm toned and I'm cool toned. Um, it's a pretty colour story though. This is last year's. So I don't know why I'm telling you about it. But um, yeah, and basically I think my point is that they've done another warm toned one. I think I might be wrong because I don't really know about these things. But it seems to me like it's pretty warm toned. Can't get in this one either. <laughs> why they make these boxes that you can't get into them i do like the fact that this is furry though <laughs> like the actual thing itself is furry <laughs> and dirty already before i've even opened it um so yeah that is pretty but this is the color story and to me that seems pretty warm toned which is great if you're warm toned but it just seems like if you're putting it in an advent calendar that's going to all different people why would you not put a neutral one in <laughs> because then everyone can use that anyway this it is a pretty colors actually and it tell, tells you on the website sort of which color eyes which colors to use if you've got different colored eyes and it says i should use because i've got green eyes i should use like the mauve type colors and there is i do quite like a pink color um so i will use it 
I just I find it a bit annoying that it's not cool toned or <laughs> neutral or at least alternate. It just seems weird to have a warm toned one in one year and then another warm toned one in the other. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, again, though, like what I said last year, like if you aren't into eyeshadow or you don't think you'll use a palette, then you, this would make an amazing gift and it's worth nearly 50 quid. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Really? <laughs> so yeah, now we are at the end. Um, yeah, I have enjoyed unboxing it for you and I can't wait to unbox it again at Christmas. Um, and I'm hoping to get, I'm hope, I don't even know if they do one, but I'm hoping to get the Clinique one. I've got a feeling they don't do one, but I feel like it's the only like brand that I actually want to try loads of different stuff. <laughs> so I'm keen to um, get it, but they haven't launched one yet. So if they do launch one, I'll no doubt do an unboxing. <laughs> But yeah, that is it. Thank you for staying with me this far. Sorry it's been epically long. <laughs> um, and if you've enjoyed this in any way, then please like and subscribe. And thanks very much for listening. Good night.